Hello there, my name is Richard. The first time you see my channel, I used to review cartoon series, anime series, or something completely random. And today we're going to talk about an anime film called Apollo 10, the first space kid, if I remember the title correctly. But anyway, this anime series, how to describe it, it's pretty good. It's one of those things, it's sort of fall into the sandlot in, in between uh, This Is My Life from Chris Rock. You've seen that series or the movie, that's exactly what you get in this movie, but instead you also get like sort of out of space. In fact, the whole movie is almost like a chill film, kind of film that you just relax. You see this kid called Stanley, how he explains himself sort of situation get into using the spacecraft. Because it's sort of ridiculous over a top, but at the same time, kind of lean back and grounded. It's sort of interesting point of view of sort of the late 60s, early 70s kind of vibe. He started explaining how important this launch really is. But a little bit, it's just so relatable. I mean, god damn. It's something like everything he says about his sisters or siblings or his parents or his grandparents. I relate to that. Like, the many things they did, like something my, my sister did or my cousins or any other of my family members did also it's one of those like doesn't matter what race or what kind of uh, uh kind of level of uh middle class you really are it really just grabs you it's something like you just sit down like oh yeah i did that or sometimes some of the shows he mentions that you play someone you don't see like big witch i dream a genie uh 18 in other words all those shows they do mention and many other shows who failed it just sort of clicked with me because i seen those shows back in the night the real ones so i feel sort of nostalgic especially he shows sort of things what the parents do like i remember he explained how his mom you see her, you put sugar on top and you know, also sort of cut bananas like oh that's exactly what my mom did it's one of those that you can't stop uh Basically, nostalgia trip kind of film because it's it's the really, really way this is the best way to describe it because I'm totally mumbly because I had just a great time watching this film, but it's not perfect. It has its flaws. It's sort of minor flaws that the movie is a tad long. It's about an hour in. 38 minutes, I feel it should have cut me 10 or 15 minutes less because there's some moments I feel sort of dragged but at the same time it sort of makes sense because how the movie sets the situation and the relatability of this kid is the fact you need to ex explain everybody's point of view like the parents how they sort of kind of profile some people some race and you can see the different generation of her daughter pointing out like mom you serve a square you always sort of profile people and honestly that is true what she's doing but at the same time she doesn't know what she's saying even people she sort of profile she just locked the door that she think they are but it doesn't matter what race it really was and she thinks it's like a hippie if you should be more threatened but once more you don't just focus on those point of views you focus on the kid of the point of view like I, how he explains it like it feels like that's like a Thought problem thing. In a way, it's sort of true. I remember thinking the same thing I was back in the 90s. Things like, yeah, that's a little adult problem. I don't need to worry because that's like far away. Something like that. But it's just sort of relatable. It's one of those like phrases you call how the how the world changes a lot but still stays the same. That kind of phrasing. That's the best way to describe this film because everything you do do back in the late 60s, people are still doing that even today. But a little bit even sort of things that you really don't think about or sort of people forgot to talk about, like complaining about people you spending too much money in the space race. Like that money should be put out of the different areas like ghettos or special needs. Or those are kind of places you need the money, but you took the money for this space race. Those kind of uh, talkable things, people still don't actually talk about anymore. And I think that's sort of fascinating. The thing that feels so more interesting to talk about, they stop talking about it because it's sort of the past. And the real part is they are doing that even today. Very different, but still very similar subject matter. And that's sort of fascinating me because it's one of those like, god damn, this is just so on topic today. Like, do you think this kind of stuff ends but never did? It's just sort of 
recycles. Especially, I love how he sort of point out all the little things kids does, or your or your siblings, your brothers does. Like, for example, like uh, our main lead has a sister who works in a uh, forty-two or oh, thirty-two flavor ice cream store, and she get out free ice cream to his brothers or sisters behind the store back. Little things like that that actually does happen if you do have siblings. Like I think one of the best examples is they went to the baseball field. Every time the ball like went out of field, if you pick it up, you go to the shop. They would give you free ice cream, and other kids just have baseballs bring to the uh, the baseball field and give it to them because they want free ice cream in that sort of a loophole. Those kind of things, like, oh, yes. I remember doing something similar as a kid or seeing something similar as that. And I think that's why I just enjoy it. It's one of those I highly recommend it. It's one of the films, it's a perfect no. But I assure you, it's not worth your time if you have a great blast. Especially, you kind of, uh, watch this movie with your friends or family you have a great time but i love it even the most they actually go into detail like little things that you really don't think about besides the thing i said before like for example there once in a time they buy ice cream but the ice cream got so cold you get stuck to your tongue you could rip it off but it sort of bleed in your tongue because the ice cream was just too cold. That's something that the people didn't know that actually can happen. Like little messed up things they showed you that actually did happen in that time period. And people stopped doing that. And that's sort of fascinating. That's like, wow, not a lot of movies and television series do not go that detail. But that's why I feel this movie is so special. Now, I'm 100% sure some people will complain, like, why not this be more a live action series than an anime series? I have to say, uh, you're right, but at the same time, it's cheaper. It also makes this movie more popping, something that really stands out. Like, wonder why you use this animation, because it is cheap. Like, the cheapest sort of, like, 60s, 70s movies was basically, like, The Joker. That movie cost, like, 80 billion. I show you if you look how much this budget was, I think about 25 million or 30 billion. So, yeah, it makes sense to do in 2D. It's sort of also the 2, 2D animation or the autoscope that was the sort of style they use that is very important in animation, but at the same time, you also use a lot of different things. But I love it that because they use that, it really stands out. For an animation lover like me, I really enjoy it. They really use it, the full potential of autoscope. It gives you that sort of grand feeling, that sort of back in the day type of feeling that it just works super well. Now, I have a question. Do you relate to the film? Do you relate to anything of this film does? Because I did. Of course, I was never raised in the late 60s. I was raised in the 90s. But that sort of tells you how nostalgic and perfect relatability this film really is and this movie is not political only political in the 60s but even that is just so relatable in this time but i really got nothing else to say just thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful uh, wonderful day bye